Singapore sees itself as Asia's hub for business education. It is business friendly, many corporates have regional headquarters here, and it sits in a strategic spot in Southeast Asia. So it's no wonder that many business schools have decided to make this their home. But what about the overseas business students who decide to come to Singapore? How do they go about making Singapore their brand new home? Tess is a 24-year-old student from Vienna in Austria, and she's taking the MBA program at the National University of Singapore. I think Singapore is an amazing place to stay. I really fell in love with this place, and I see myself uh, working over here. Maybe I'm thinking of going back to Europe in a couple years of time, but for now I'd love to stay. I love to eat at the food courts over here, all the diverse Asian cuisines. The campus of the NUS plays a big part in Tessa's typical activities each day at the business school, with students throughout the day and into the evening gathering for classes and group projects. So in the mornings maybe I would go to the library or to uh, U-Town, which is a place where you have like cafes as well, work on group projects, some analysis, research, or something like that, or a group meeting, and then evening classes. Normally they start at 6.30. But the MBA experience is also a professional one. In Tess's case, she is working as an intern with Dell, the US computer technology company and one of the many multinational corporations with regional headquarters in Singapore. My internship currently is at Dell, the technology company. I am in a marketing role over there. The decision to coming to Singapore, it was a long, long process. I dreamed of going abroad for a long time. The economy is growing like crazy and there are a lot of opportunities in terms of innovation. A lot of global companies are based here as well, so the opportunities are there. And Singapore is often seen as a, as a test bed for a lot of new ideas, new products. The business school alone, we have tie-ups with Stanford, with UCLA, we run joint EMBA programs with some of the top institutions in the US. We also have strong collaborations in Asia with the Chinese universities like Fudan University, Peking University. The often comment I get is that Singapore is costly, it's very expensive, you know, and it is as a big global city, but honestly I feel it's a small price to pay. The cost of living is certainly a question for would-be students to consider. Singapore is among the world's most expensive cities. Also, Chicago Booth Business School moved the Asia strand of its executive MBA from Singapore to Hong Kong a few years ago to have better access to China. But this has not deterred John, a 36-year-old from Delaware, from coming to NUS to pursue his business ambitions and even launch his own startup. I really wanted to do an international program. Uh, I was up in the air between Hong Kong and Singapore, and I ultimately decided to come to Singapore and NUS because I thought the market opportunities in Southeast Asia really were the best out there. I started a business with five of my classmates at NUS, all in the MBA program, and we started out with the idea of marketing consulting. We're doing this market research for Huxley in Korea, and it's a skincare brand, and they are very interested in opening the into markets in Southeast Asia. Right now we're researching Thailand, Malaysia, Indonesia, in addition to Singapore. There's uh, not excessive red tape, whether you're a couple of entrepreneurs or if you're a large multinational company, the uh, Singapore government really wants to help these businesses succeed. There are certain things that will always hold true for any student who moves away from home to some place far and new. But perhaps moving to Singapore means moving to more cities than just one, with a different culture, religion or cuisine to surprise you at every corner. It is this diversity and interconnectedness that has historically made Singapore so attractive and that still makes business and education thrive.